Sharangapa joins us now uh, from Yale. You're a CNN legal and security analyst, and you also at the FBI in counterintelligence. Uh, so it, it's great to speak to you. Based on what we've just been hearing from Jeff Zeleny and all that's come out in the reporting today, what do you make of it? And particularly, is the and was the president trying to subvert the rule of law? Well, this is not good news for the president for uh, a couple of reasons. The main reason is that it helps bolster the special counsel's obstruction of justice investigation. Uh, what the special counsel is looking for in uh, building a case for obstruction of justice is whether the president had a corrupt motive that's actually in the statute when he fired James Comey. In other words, did he fire James Comey for not not the reason that he just felt that he wasn't doing a good job, but because he really was trying to impede an ongoing investigation. And this, uh, the, the news that he uh, subsequently wanted even Robert Mueller fired, who was appointed specifically to do the Russia investigation, adds to the pattern of activity uh, that tends to show that the president really wanted this investigation to go away. So that's not good news for him. Uh, the other piece is that uh, the White House has essentially been lying about this um, when they've been asked repeatedly about whether he'd ever considered firing Mueller. And of course, that doesn't help his credibility either. No, the White House and and the president have said a number of mistruths about this. So, Mr. Mueller knows this. Mr. Mueller knows this. If he asks the president about this, that's illegal. Lying to the American public is not illegal, but lying to the FBI is. Well, there's a statute in the United States uh, where uh, it's a crime to lie to uh, an FBI agent and federal officials. This is intended to make sure that, you know, people like uh, FBI agents, prosecutors uh, can do their jobs and can investigate things without being, you know, led astray or misled purposefully. And it creates an incentive for people to tell the truth. But to your point, yes, if the president is interviewed by Mueller and Mueller asks him whether, you know, he ever considered uh, firing him, um, and the president says no, and Mueller has proof uh, that this is not true, that then opens up the president to yet another charge of making false statements. Uh, this is something that uh, at least a couple of people have already pleaded guilty to in the Russian probe. So uh, that would be a, a highly risky move for, for the president to make. Okay, so this interview uh, is certainly a focus for for that for the special counsel uh, and the White House. Asha, brilliant to have your perspective. Thanks so much for joining us here on the International Desk. So still ahead on CNN, Dutch media report a major revelation.